Back on this day 100 years ago, many black people brutally beaten and lynched by white Navy sailors. May 10th, 1919 was the day violent conflicts known as the Charleston race riots took place in the streets here of downtown Charleston. Yeah, it's a story that's often forgotten. Yeah. News 2's Dan Roberts spoke with an historian who uncovers this piece of hidden history. But the injuries are unknown. Taking a walk through history. They were beaten up pretty badly, though. Pointing out the missing pieces of a story that often gets buried. Sailors basically came through here on their way to the largely African-American community up here. Historian Damon Fordham telling me about the May 10th, 1919 Charleston race riot and eight hours of chaos between white Navy sailors and African-Americans. The sailors wanted to buy some liquor and the person who they gave money to never returned with it. So they were already drunk and they began assaulting black people from King Street on up. Leaving people running for their lives. The young Septima Clark, who has later become a civil rights leader, she ran into her home over on Henrietta Street behind Mother Emanuel and hid while they were marauding. Fordham says that's when African Americans began fighting for their lives. African Americans came out in the streets and began to fight back against the assaulters, so much so that the mayor but the mayor had to call the Marines to put down the riot. Many waking up to these headlines, learning two African Americans were killed, a black owned barbershop that used to sit here at 305 King Street was destroyed and countless others injured. Fordham says an interracial commission met and soon after, many sailors were arrested and two were even in prison for the lynchings. It's an act of justice that was unheard of at that time. There was a case where justice was actually done in the aftermath of a riot and a lynching but at a time when that was very unusual. This piece of history is often forgotten. And this type of thing has to be better known so that people don't make the mistake of letting these type of things happen again. Fordham hoping one day this story will be widely known. The Charleston race ride was one of the first of more than three dozen race riots that happened in the summer of 1919 across the nation. For more information on the race riots, visit our website, countonto.com. Reporting in studio, Deanne Roberts, Count on Two.